morning or good afternoon, depending on where you're joining us from today. I'm Catherine Ginza, and I will be your moderator for today's Oracle Health Sciences webcast, Lab Advanced Pharmacovigilance Solutions to Address Drug Safety and Regulatory Challenges. Joining me today are Oracle Health Sciences Senior Director of Product Strategy, Carrie Nassi, and Member Research Group's Vice President of Sales, Aston Yang. Before we begin, I have just a few administrative announcements. All of your phone lines are muted, so we will use the WebEx interface for questions. And showing the presentations, you'll see a small toolbar on your screen. Within that toolbar is a box with a question mark icon. That is the Q&A feature of the WebEx. Please use that Q&A feature to send questions through to me throughout the presentation, and we will take time to answer them at the end. And again, I want to thank everyone for joining us today. And with that, I will turn you over to Carrie. Very much. This is Terry. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. I appreciate you dialing in. I'm sitting here in November Research Groups, and as as we just mentioned, today we are going to talk about Argus and leveraging uh, the the cloud and accelerators to reduce risk and increase your ability to stay compliant and implement the application. This is us. This is our standard safe harbor statement. I won't read it. Start. So remember when, remember when that impl implementation didn't go exactly as it was planned. You had the process right, the, the system to the life cycle, but perhaps you didn't have ex access to accelerators for, for the application. Perhaps there wasn't the, the best practices available um, during your implementation, and, and as a result, it didn't go quite as planned. So, explicitly, when we're doing product strategy, we take a look at at the application and not only software, but but the deployment, and and view opportunities such as cloud, and and make sure that there's configurations and accelerators and and features that support those best practices, so that when you do get to that implementation, you don't you're not reinventing the wheel, and you can take advantage of this existing proven. Uh, capabilities that are out there and, and configurations that are out there give you an accelerated, mm -hmm. clean, clean implementation. So, I'll take a few moments to talk about Argus. Um, Argus Safety is part of a suite of safety and risk management products. There's a, a number of customers you probably you, you may be recognize your logo or one of them. Argus is in seven of the top ten. Uh, pharmaceutical companies, 30 of the top 50, triple digit number of, of, of companies out there use it. Um, it's used across pharma, uh, uh, CROs, devices, biologics, small, medium, and large, Japan only. Uh, it was first in production in 1999, so 15 years of innovation, and we continue to invest heavily in it. mentioned it's part of fleet. So we divide lead into three areas that, that mimic the processes. You, on the left, you have your case management reporting, and that's where you have your, your standard edition Argus. So this is your Argus safety, Argus TAN, interchange for your electronic reporting, um, capabilities for, for your, your affiliate groups, and, and performing that case processing, all of the case processing. In the middle is, is what we call enterprise edition. Really that is Argus Insight. Argus Mart and Argus Analytics. Uh, so your your ad hoc and 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 uh, reporting. Uh, the Argus Mart is the explicit integration with Empiric Signal. And then on the we won't be talking about this today, but just as a as a point of our signaling suite, we uh, have this all all over the top. We use our our Empiric topics as our as tracking those those. Uh, Tracking and dispositioning your your signals and your your issues. So you have strategy without a roadmap. Uh, this is this is our current roadmap. On the left is what we've done recently. On the on the right is what we're we're planning on doing in in the future. Um, in Argus, we just released a a patch set for the latest version, version 7.4, just last month. So what I want to make about this today is not necessarily go into features. But, but number one, when we take our roadmap, we look at the regulations. 
regulations and keeping you compliant. So you're going to see the regulations and on the continue to be placed on there because as we we know regulations do change over time and 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 when they come up we immediately revise our roadmap. Um, innovations are changing. Simple ones like uh, the MedWatch 3500A form, for example, is is changing soon. We have EBR3 is a more significant one in the future, and then several ones in between. And so we we keep updating our product for to make sure that the that we're offering the latest compliance, which which translates to you needing to uptake. Um, we also take a look at business processes and efficiencies. We work with a group of customers. Intensely, uh, a group, and then and then a wide cast of of we we interact with you on on best practices and collect all that information so that we can deliver features that allow allow our our system implementation partners like November Research Group to to have a accelerators with those best practices uh, in, in their in their suite of tools. Um, and lastly. We take a look at our, our technology stack, and so we're we're continually continuously updating our technology stack, so that we we provide you the ability to deploy this in a cost and effective, robust manner, um, both deploying your own or on the cloud. Um, for example, we have the old B2B gateway coming in 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 next major release of of Argus, and what this does is allows us to take that Oracle product up into our our cloud and and uh, give you those cost savings for not having to go with another third party product. I'm going to move. So this is this is another remember when slide. Remember when software companies just delivered software and that's it. And there's been a change, and customers didn't and expect that it, that it's not software that they're getting, but they're getting deployment options and they're getting services and accelerators and configurations along with the software to really give them a complete end-to-end -end offering, a complete process, rather than having to invent it once they get the software. As, as we just talk with, speak with customers and conferences and one-on-one, -on -one, we most customers right now are asking for options on cloud offerings. I'm going to talk about the Oracle Cloud today, and just to introduce it, or just to introduce why why you would want to go to the cloud. Um, on premise in, implementation, you have your data center, you have your people who run your data center, you have to procure hardman, hardware, you have to make sure that the people you employ have the skill set and the uh, changing skill set if the third party products or the, the technologies needed to run these applications change or or once are added and and then have to implement and maintain this. It, it's a costly effort. And it's being done at company A and company B and company C. And so what a cloud does is gives you that opportunity to reduce costs by leveraging a, a an entity that does this all day uh, in in a same validated, ready, ready for deployment manner, so that you can put your the bulk of your investment in innovation in other areas where you do need to to test uh, rather than in something that's already being done elsewhere. So this introduced the Oracle Cloud, um, or this is Oracle Cloud for industry. It's been around for many years. Uh, deploy our clinical suite of products. There's some metric on there at the bottom of the slide of the scale that we at which we deploy those application instances. And as I said, it's got the the clean suite of products for many years. It's had the Argus safety suite for the last few years. This is the group that manages the hardware, the infrastructure, everything but the application. And the, the, we have a very strong Experience with compliance, mm -hmm. HIPAA certified, host many many audits, and we have uh, a group in there called Application Management Services, and they are the Argus safety or safety specialists, if you will, that specifically have those skills for implementing implementing and maintaining the safety application. I'm going to move on to Argus, the Argus safety on the cloud. So this is 
this is software as a service. Um, this is your opportunity. You don't buy the software. You don't own the license. You rent it. You buy. You you rent it in terms of of prayer. There's a there's a cycle. Um, the mod modules that are included are the major ones that you'd expect with Argus. So Argus Safety, Inchange, the the affiliate capabilities. Argus Japan is there. If there's uh, in the Enterprise Edition, as we call it, that's if you want the extended Argus Insight, Argus Mart, Argus Analytics. So you're you're reporting your Mart, your integration with with Signal, and those real time and retrospective compliance and workflow metrics. Uh, when you sign up, you get three environments. If you're if you're small and you you need less, you could, there, you could have two. You can opt to have more than three if you need them. Uh, there's disaster recovery available that has a, a recovery a you know, recovery time objective of by 24 hours and a recovery point objective of by 12 hours. This is what you get is the point. Uh, it's, think of it as it's IQ'd and then we'll talk about the the, the kind of OQ and PQ section of, of what you get. Um, you have an option of, of working with a partner where you can choose their, their industry templates, and that's what it means, fully configurable or pre-configured. If you choose those, that, that partner, you can, you can choose that template, have that, that configuration complete, or you can do it on your own if, if that's still your need. Break down who's, who's involved. So you, the, the first one, infrastructure and platform management service, so that's OCI, the Oracle Cloud for Industry. Application management services, as I mentioned, that's the AMS group. That are the, those are the Argus specialists that are give, putting on, deploying the application. They're putting on your patches. Um, if you have a change request, those are the people that are managing those change requests. All of those application-specific processes. And there's help desk services, and I'll talk about that in a minute. And the last one, we put it as optional because we really should say choice. It's your choice for your services of who you're going to work with, how you're going to get your configuration, your best practice template. And, and when, when in a few slides, uh, Aston will take you through the, the uh, November research group. Excel. So it all together on the Oracle and a of processes that, that we perform as we get your environment ready. The middle is layer where you, you lay on your industry best practice with your implementer, such as November Research Group, and you're on the right. So that's how we continue to, to enable you to have that best service. I'll take a moment during this presentation to go how you interact with us. You, you interact with us on a couple ways. Um, on, a, on an Oracle level where you engage and, with and, and go forward with the, the, the uh, service with, with the partners or your, your implementation partner as you're applying that industry best practice template. And then there's always layered, layered across is product support or your ability to call us any time and work through questions that you have or any issues that you have. Um, this, this spells out who exactly you're calling when, when you have a question. You have a, what we call Tier 1, and so this is just defines what it is. It's your Google help, help Desk. This is connected into Oracle. This team receives all your calls, makes sure everything is traceable, and then determines what your question is, answers it if they can, and if they can't, they put it to the right group. There's either going to be your Tier 2, so that's the, your application, those Argus specialists, the AMS, the, the application management team, or it's your product support. If it's a product question, it's going to go to the same team that you've been dealing with the before. If you already have Argus, or if you're using our one of our other products, it's the same product support team, same processes, same same way of documenting it, so that that should be familiar and it's consistently and it fits into this process nicely as as fitting that piece for product support. Right hand end of the slide is and just the teams involved, the cloud for industry. The application management group and and the production services. 
So now I'm going to hand it over to Allison that's going to go into a bit of detail about their accelerators. Hey, Carrie, some interesting topics around Argus Cloud. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how a customer can work with Oracle and Workflow November on implementing on the Argus Cloud. Uh, for those who don't know November Research Group, I want to spend a minute or two just describing who we are. Research Group is a specialized consult firm focused on 50 implementations of services and software solutions for pharmaceutical life science organizations. He is completely dedicated to uh, patient safety and helping our customers build uh, products. All of our consultants uh, have been in the industry for a while. Uh, we've got roughly 60 consultants uh, across the, the globe. Um, our projects are global in nature, uh, residing in the U.S., Europe, and Japan. Uh, we have a dedicated Japanese practice. Uh, some of the things that we do, in addition to Argus safety implementations, is we uh, do our support. So some of you customers out there who are still on airs. Um, uh, very recently, uh, we've been doing a lot of complex data migration integration projects. These are due to acquisitions, mergers and acquisitions by a lot of uh, life science organizations. Um, uh, we'll integrate uh, quality management systems and business process management systems into Argus. So if you have some more complex uh, requirements, uh, these are things that, uh, that we've been working on recently. And then if you have custom reporting or additional software tools, uh, this is something that we uh, specialize as well. we been a gold partner with Oracle uh, since the inception of the HSGBU, so years back. Uh, we need to work with Oracle on many different fronts. Uh, in the last uh, Oracle Health Sciences User Group Conference in Miami, uh, we were awarded the uh, excellence for technology and innovation, and we're, we're happy to continue to do that and innovate our software and tools uh, with Oracle. Carrie mentioned about the challenges and, uh, uh, that customers are facing today. I just want to reemphasize and focus on a couple of areas uh, and just be better understand at least how we see uh, the market. Um, of you who are not using the latest version of Argus, or maybe on a legacy, uh, another non-Argus version, perhaps uh, Oracle or ClinTrace or SG probably faced with, you know, how do you uptake the, the new patches, how do you apply those, uh, those regulatory changes, enhancements. And so as you are uh, talking with your IT organizations and deciding on how, how to move forward, you know, these are things that you probably struggle with and, and we have a, a model that will help you uh, accept and adopt those uh, upcoming changes. Secondly, as you uh, manage these systems on premise, there is increased overhead. Uh, you, you probably have uh, a team of people that maintain your applications, uh, from DBAs to system administrators uh, to uh, uh, application administrators, people who know Argus. Uh, that team of people is, a, is added cost uh, and, and increase uh, your total cost of ownership. Something that we also see as a potential challenge uh, as we uh, try to make things more efficient. A third item is really around compliance. Uh, I mentioned a bunch of upcoming changes with the E2BR3, uh, the 3500A report, uh, MDA changes. I know there's some uh, interesting changes with medical devices reporting. So as companies are faced with uh, maintaining their systems and addressing these compliance issues in an organization, or how can a customer like you be able to accommodate and accept these uh, these new regulatory changes as quickly as possible? And we're seeing a more reliance on uh, partners and vendors to ensure compliancy. Really, really uh, due to the uh, changing landscape on a variety of different levels, companies need to be more flexible, they need to be more agile, uh, be able to make decisions faster, uh, to boost revenue and profitability. Uh, essentially, companies need to do more with less. So these are things that we're seeing uh, in the regulatory uh, landscape and, and some challenges that you probably face today. So why do uh, propose a catalyst methodology uh, this is uh, what we're talking about uh, today in terms of how to implement Argus in an aggressive and, and uh, compliant manner. Uh, and to do that, uh, we've worked with Oracle on a joint partnership uh, with the Catalyst Solution. It's a partnership between Oracle Health Sciences GBU and November Research Group. This provides you a cost-effective approach for implementing Argus on the cloud. Already here, 
is to reduce risk, reduce timelines, and to give you an advanced system functionality. So a lot of uh, advanced features that uh, that Carrie mentioned and some of the things that we'll talk about is how can you meet your requirements through an implementation, and you can do that with Catalyst. The target audience for Catalyst is really life science organizations who are using uh, any safety system out there, any legacy safety system. The benefits are, are very clear to me. Hopefully, they are to you. Uh, really, three benefits to uh, to you, the customer. Uh, Carrie mentioned uh, the, first, the first two. Uh, if you're not on Argus, well, this is an easy way to get onto the number one so, uh, safety solution out there. If you're looking trying to manage your costs at an infrastructure level, uh, the US Cloud is an alternative to be able to lower your cost, your infrastructure cost, and to also reduce your total cost of ownership. And there's really one out there that will give the best ROI. And then really, you uh, have Catalyst for fast and low risk implementation process. Uh, this gives you a, a solution and will get you uh, migrated to Argus quickly and effectively. So the uh, benefits are what we see uh, with the Catalyst and, uh, and Argus Cloud. So why, why use Catalyst? Uh, Catalyst has been around for many years. We've been deploying uh, Argus across uh, 50 customers and can do that with a variety of our uh, customers that we work with today. Uh, we utilize a combination of conference room pilots and workshops to be able to work with you to address your regulatory requirements uh, to make sure that we optimize your business process. So does a workflow that meets your needs? And also look at uh, data quality issues. So how can we leverage the application to be able to reduce uh, data integrity issues, uh, ensure that you've got minimal uh, issues, uh, so this is something that we uh, reinforce uh, within the catalyst. And then finally, uh, system validation. So uh, it's common that after you implement a new system, especially if you're migrating from a legacy system, uh, that you likely would be audited. And so can we address and minimize any findings uh, if you were to be uh, inspected? Our catalyst offering includes a bunch of tools, kits, and accelerators. Uh, Carrie mentioned this a little bit earlier. Uh, we have extensive documentation how to move from, uh, from a non-Argus uh, system to Argus while uh, meeting your regulatory obligations. Uh, things about our consultants, our Argus consultants are Argus specialized, so they've uh, attended and uh, passed the Argus specialization exam. Uh, they have 12 years of experience and are very familiar with pharmacovigilance, local airs, Argus, and other safety systems. Men worked at RELF which was the uh, original uh, feather for the uh, Argus uh, technology, uh, also came from Oracle. And some of them have also worked at Aris Global. And the combination of having strong uh, PV domain knowledge and system uh, safety system experience gives uh, us a, a unique position to be able to implement your R on the cloud in a successful way. Uh, we've many challenges doing this many times. We bring best practices and lessons learned to your projects. Next table highlights the three different offerings that we have for the Catalyst. We're calling this uh, three different packages, and they're tailored to many of your different uh, requirements. So look at kind of the range of uh, customers out there. We've tailored these three packages, standard, premier, and Japan, and uh, the different business communities and different uh, uh, complexities within uh, with implementation process. So the first example, the Argus, uh, the Catalyst standard is designed for small to medium life science companies. The typical time frame is smaller in nature, perhaps two to four months. Uh, we bring out of our implementation tools uh, to these kinds of implementations. We bring a best practice uh, uh, set of documentation and knowledge. Uh, we include our validation kit, so this includes uh, OQ, PQ templates, validation plans, and protocols. Uh, I believe there's about 10 different documents that are included. You are uh, a company that likes automated testing. Maybe that's something that you guys uh, have included in your SOPs. We also bring that. Um, we've written cloud, Argus Cloud-specific tools. Uh, this will enable you to be able to leverage and utilize the cloud quickly. Uh, such access SOPs, 
different protocols to be able to log into Argus. Um, all training materials uh, are designed for end users, so whether you're a safety associate or a medical reviewer or a safety manager, these materials are designed so then you can quickly utilize and adopt the Argus application. And then finally, uh, the proposition here is for companies that want a fast, fast simple, and cost-effective approach uh, to move to Argus Cloud. The second offering is the Catalyst uh, Premier package. And this is designed for mid to large uh, life science companies who have perhaps a more complex, sophisticated product portfolio. This might be a generics company, might be a large pharma company who's got uh, many different products, biologics, devices, uh, or vaccines, for example. Uh, there could be a legacy migration. So if you're coming from a, a, an older version of Argus or uh, non-Argus uh, systems such as Oracle Airs or ClinTrace, I may uh, want to be able to migrate that data in a clean way, an effective way to Argus Cloud. Uh, the package uh, may suit your needs better. Also, if you have any custom integration points, um, you want to customize the E2B import module, or if you want to uh, integrate with a quality management system or a Documentum, for example, uh, the Premier package uh, might be more suitable for you. Uh, the average time frame for these Premier uh, customers tend to be or medium to large size customers tend to be a little longer in nature just due to the uh, large, more uh, complex requirements. Um, the tools that we bring to a Premier implementation uh, also encompass the Catalyst standard tools that we listed previously. It also include our whole, uh, comprehensive migration kit, it includes the mapping documents, uh, uh, any test scripts, any programmatic code that would take you uh, moving data from the legacy system to Argus. We also have an automated uh, PLSR uh, product loading tool, product licenses, studies, reportability rules, help you move the complex uh, product to uh, Argus Console. Uh, and finally, uh, one of the tools that we bring in includes a set of project uh, project materials, such as project plans, communication documents, communication plans, uh, a resource planning, work breakdown structure. Uh, so that's all included in the Premiere. Uh, the big proposition here is if you have a more complex uh, requirements, uh, we want to bring something to you that minimizes risk and improves efficiency in terms of the implementation and your, uh, your regulatory obligations. Offering is around uh, Dallas, Japan. So if you are a U.S., European uh, life science organization who wants to uh, enable and mobilize the Japanese affiliates with Argus uh, Cloud, uh, the Catalyst Japan option is a good one for you. Uh, this does not require standard or premier. Uh, and, uh, you can utilize this package outside or independent of standard and premier. Um, we have a bilingual Japanese team uh, who speaks English and Japanese. They would be working with you uh, and your Japanese affiliates to uh, be able to, to implement our Argus Cloud. Uh, we we'll include a Japanese migration kit, Japanese migration uh, validation kit, all of our training materials are also in Japanese. And the focus here is uh, we've done this before many times and we want to work with your Japanese team to implement Argus that suits some of the uh, different requirements uh, for the Japanese uh, market, specifically around PMDA. Um, this next slide talks about some enhanced PV system functionality. So in addition to the, the Catalyst packages that I mentioned earlier, a uh, business intelligence ad hoc reporting tool called Web Reports. Uh, this enables your, uh, your English speaking, so European and US Japanese uh, audience to be able to do ad hoc searches and generate line listings. We all have a reporter relationship management application or uh, management tool that focuses on medical product safety and product, and product complaint issues. Uh, be integrated seamlessly to your pharmacovigilance process. In many previous slides, uh, our team is, uh, has worked on uh, generating custom reports. So report of Cognos, uh, business objects, OBIE. If you've got any custom reports uh, needed, uh, our team can help you with that. And the last thing here, it really, uh, it's an exciting offering that, uh, that, that, I'm, uh, that I'm interested in. It's around informed Argus integration. So our team has done this before. If you're in integrating Inform with Argus, uh, this is that we can uh, work with you as well. 
Also, I think there's just a couple slides here. Um, this, this slide is around a, a sample case study, just to give you a better idea of, of one of recent projects. It was for an Argus implementation. I think it's a large generics uh, pharmaceutical company. And they have a very extensive and broad list of products across 150 uh, countries. They were evaluating uh, all commercially available uh, safety systems, including Aris Global and Oracle Argus. They ended up selecting uh, Oracle Argus to capture ease and, and product complaints for drugs, devices, and veterinary products. The solution was to work with the Vember Research Group. They selected the Catalyst Premier and Catalyst Japan packages, and they also leveraged the uh, legacy migration uh, to accelerate uh, uh, the migration of their cases into Oracle Argus. Uh, overall, the project was on schedule, on budget, and we met the regulatory obligations uh, given their complex requirements. Uh, tools that were implemented were safety, image dossier, insight, and Japan. We're, we're, uh, we're very excited about this implementation, and, and it's a good uh, business case. I think that covers my slides. I want to leave it to Carrie. Just to summarize, we wanted to leave you with our, our holistic model of how we engage and work with you through the life cycle of, of going to cloud, implementing the product, and, and in going into maintenance phase. The reference oracle as we provide you those environments. The blue where you work with your choice of, of partner to to develop your your use your templates and, and accelerators and bring your application to to production ready and that again as we, we continue to work with you going forward in an iterative cycle as as uh, you're interested in taking up new patches over time. for you today. Thank you, Carrie, and thank you, Aston. And I also want to introduce the president and CEO of November Research Group, Seth Wastig, and he'll be joining us for the Q&A portion of today's call. And just a reminder to anyone who joined us a bit late today, we use the Q&A feature of the WebEx interface for questions. And you can submit any questions that you have by clicking on the blue box with a question mark in it within the toolbar. And it looks like we have a couple of questions in the queue right now. Um, the first question is, I believe will be for Carrie, and that question is, how many environments are included in the cloud service offer? There are three environments included. That's your development, test, and production. Um, if if you're a very small implementation, you can go with only two, the development and production. If you need additional environments, those are available for you to to elect to have. Great, thank you, Sherry. And the next question we have, I think, will be for November Research Group. And you elaborate on your data migration approach and migration verification strategy. Catherine, that's a, that's a, a good question. So our migration it is intended to be comprehensive, and we have uh, a size screen mapping document. We've got co-list mapping documents, and this this takes this kit allows us to walk, work with our customers and walk them through a lot of the exercises that are needed uh, for a migration, for a successful migration. So the mapping documents that I talked about are included. Uh, we also have the actual program code that uh, will uh, move data from the legacy system. Them to Argus. Um, in addition, we have uh, verification scripts, so you need to be able to test that data was migrated correctly. Uh, so the, uh, the verification scripts are designed to be able to thoroughly test, you know, if data uh, was was consistent with the mappings uh, that we designed originally. Uh, so the, the migration basically walks you through the entire process. Great, thank you. Um, the next question we have is, in the cloud, I think this is for Carrie, in the cloud, who is responsible for the MedVRA up version? Your up version. So, so we've built in your, your uh, twice yearly MedVRA up version into the offering. The, you have to license MedVRA 
you have to med- license the dictionaries, the Hooja, Medra, J Drug, um, and then we've built that service into into the offering. So so that's we'll be performing it included. Okay, thanks, Gary. Um, for November Research Group is what is included in your validation kit, and can then can you also elaborate on what the approach is for the Japan validation kit? So our Argus validation kit includes, uh, for cloud, includes an OQ set of documents. I believe there are 50 different uh, test scripts. Uh, at level, it includes the validation plan, which describes the testing strategy, the testing approach. Uh, there are also uh, protocols, OQ protocols and PQ protocols that are included. Uh, if you do a, a migration, uh, there's also a protocol that describes the migration uh, testing strategy. Uh, PQ uh, uh, scripts are templates that can be leveraged by the customer, so you can utilize these uh, to be able to tailor them towards your uh, business process. And PAN uh, validation kit encompasses the same thing. Uh, so uh, you know, as you're implementing Japan, uh, you need to be able to test the functionality, uh, and they're all in Japanese. So the OQ scripts uh, for Japan are written in Japanese. We also have uh, PQ templates in Japanese to be able to test the workflow process. Good question. Thank you. Um, the next question we have is, and this is for a research group as well, how did you overcome challenges on your last implementation? So we get this uh, often, and um, I, w- I would say that there are really three different things that I'd like to share with you on this. Uh, the first one being that, that before, prior to the kickoff of the implementation, um, it's important to have a, a, a proper and a correct governance model Things do occur uh, during the implementation, and certain things uh, do uh, issues arise. You need to be able to escalate those to the proper decision makers, the, the project management team. So having a governance model, a communication plan before the project starts uh, is very important. Uh, the, second one, the second thing I think is really having the resources uh, broken out and assigned uh, correctly, uh, maybe through a resource spreadsheet and with your project management team, uh, this is this is definitely critical. And then the last thing is I think uh, this oftentimes get, uh, can be a little confusing during the implementation, having the proper migration verification strategy. So if you're migrating 10,000 cases or hundreds of thousands of cases, to do 100% verification, that, that's not realistic. So have a solid and strong verification strategy to be able Able to uh, ensure that you've that you've migrated the data correctly, so then when you do start using Argus Cloud, you, you trust the data has been uh, has been entered and, and moved over smoothly. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then I have two questions for Carrie. The first question is: Are customers forced to upgrade to new product releases? So you're not forced to upgrade when when you're ready to upgrade. It's your choice, and we work with you. Um, the great thing about the cloud is we, as we're, the, the Oracle cloud is working right with development and strategy. And so as we're developing a product, we're at the same time getting it ready to go on the cloud. So it's a short lag time between, uh, which we strive for as short of lag time as possible for when the the software version that we deploy is ready. And then you, you can when it's that validated, ready to deploy on the cloud. And if I mentioned before, it's it's the same software. I'm getting any different or special version. It's it's the same software that you've always known that we deploy um, before. So so and then the great thing about the cloud is since it's since it's deployed as closely as possible to the to the software release, it's got your latest regulations, and we're working on this reducing time. To realize that value, this this puts you in a situation where you can have those those regulatory compliance features um, in a in a shorter, more rapid time frame, rather than having to do something alternate alternate in in some some uh, interim time frame. Great, thank you, Carrie. Um, the next question we have for you is: Does the client get a dedicated support staff, or is it standard Oracle support? Standard Oracle support, you do have a, a dedicated person who's a service delivery manager, so this is your liaison that 
that works with you from beginning to end. Um, during the implementation part, you're working with your, your implementer. So, for example, if you chose November Research Group, your, your project manager there would be the person that's working with you through, your, through the point until you go live. And then once you're live, you, you have a person who is your, your, your manager um, that, that can contact that one-to-one -one person just, just as you go through the process. If you have an explicit issue, then that's back, that slide with the puzzle pieces where it was Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3. Tier 1 being, I have a problem, here's the number that I call 24 by 7. That, that they're going to answer, and they're going to get me the specialist that I need. It might be the application management team that's, that's dedicated Argus across, across our clients or Oracle support. Thank you, Mary. Um, it actually looks like that those are all of the questions that we have today. So, again, I want to thank everyone for your time and for joining us for the webcast. And members of the Oracle Health Sciences and November Research teams will be in touch with everyone to answer any questions that you may have thought of or provide additional information that you and your team may need. Um, and on behalf of our guests, we appreciate you joining us for the webcast, and we hope that everyone has a great day. Thanks Thank you so much.